Estoy bailando aquí. Good morning everyone, I hope you're all doing amazing. This is David Hoffman from David's Bin here in beautiful Guatemala City, Guatemala. I'm doing a tour of Guatemala in partnership with the Real Intercontinental Guatemala, one of the top ranked hotels in the country. Today I have a super exciting day for you guys. What we're doing is we're driving one hour south to Antigua, the UNESCO World Heritage Colonial Town. It's a beautiful place. You got the volcanoes in the backdrop. You have all these colonial buildings, cobblestone streets, and I'm gonna take you to one of my favorite places to eat. It's incredible, I can't wait to go. And right now I'm having breakfast here at the Market Restaurant in the hotel. They have a huge breakfast. I mean, they have a whole bread station. They got cold cuts. They have vegetables. You could build your own omelet. That's what I did, so I just chose a few different things. Gave it to the chef. They cooked me up an omelet. And they have like frijoles, maduros. I mean, typical stuff of Guatemala. Oh man, I'm, I'm super excited for today. I can't wait. Antigua is the UNESCO World Heritage site. There's three in the country. This is the only like UNESCO World Heritage Town. The other two UNESCO World Heritage Sites are Kiriwa and Tikal. Mm, these eggs are amazing. Mm, I put some chilies in it, made it a little hot. You know, a huge selling point for me with the hotel is the breakfast. If the breakfast is just like whatever, you know, just like some eggs and very plain and basic. I, I don't like that. I like it when it's expansive. I guess that's my American in me that like loves, you know, huge breakfast. So I have a huge selection. If you love coffee, you have to come to this country because coffee is like king here. They produce coffee. They produce it in Lake Atitlan. They produce it now in Antigua where we're going today. Oh, incredible. What up, Maria Olivia? Hey. Hola, como están? Good morning. How are you, David? Today we have a good day and a great day. We will go to Antigua. We are going to Antigua. After a short one hour drive from Guatemala City, we've arrived in the beautiful UNESCO World Heritage Site of Antigua. I'm here with my boy Javier from Antigua Rides in partnership with Alacata Tours. And what we're doing today is we're taking a 4x4, this one right here, and we're driving to a chocolate factory and there we're gonna try some chocolate and some delicious artisanal wines. So the people there make the wines from fruits from the area. I'm ready. We took a short 10 minute drive to the neighborhood of San Juan de lo Obispo. And de lo Obispo means Archbishop. And right here is where the first Archbishop of Guatemala lived. You could smell the cacao roasting in the neighborhood. It's amazing here. Francisco Marroquin, the first Archbishop of Guatemala, built this church in the year 1541. There's a small plaza here, as you can see, cobblestones. Pretty amazing. It's incredible how this has been standing here for over 500 years. History is the reason why I travel. Walking over to the chocolate factory, we found this lady and she's selling chuchitos, which are basically like tamales in Mexico City. She also has some tacos, some, I think this like empanadas as well. I'm gonna get one of these. Maria's getting one as well. I'm gonna ask for some spice. Yo quiero picante también. Okay, so right here is the chuchito. It uh, looks like a tamal. I mean, it's basically the same thing. They put some cabbage next to it and it also has some spice. Oh, looks amazing. Mm. Oh, it's hot. Mm. It's very soft, a little spicy. Oh, delicious. It's actually my second breakfast, but I'm okay with it. So this is actually a chicken chuchito. I love the mix. Mmm, cabbage in there. It is so freaking delicious. It's still very hot. So, it costs three quetzales. It's like 50 cents. This is something you have to try for breakfast in Guatemala. I love this. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. Very filling. Mmm. And as you can see, the workers are here eating. So if people, local people are eating the food, you know it's good. So it's like a fried churro in a way. Mmm. With mashed potatoes. With mashed potatoes? No. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, the chocolate, cacao. The roasting of the cacao is so amazing right now. It's so potent, the aroma. It's a very long process of how they get cacao and turn it into chocolate. And this is the explanation they gave me. Basically, you have a cacao tree, 
the tree has a uh, flower. The mosquito comes and bites the flower, and there the fruit is born. Inside the fruit, there's seeds. The seeds have like this white layer around them. They take that off and they ferment it. After fermentation, they dry it out. There's two different ways they dry it out, you know, natural and then indoors. Then from there, they bring it here, and here they roast them. They roast it for about 25 minutes. From there, they take off the shell, then they take it inside and they start blending it and turning it into powder. And that is how we get chocolate. This is amazing. I can't wait to eat some chocolate. We're gonna try 12 different flavors. We're gonna get we're gonna get chocolate drunk here. <laughs> After the entire process I told you about, then these guys basically turn it into like blocks of chocolate. They pound the cacao together and then they make these little pancakes. Look at this, incredible. I'm about to eat this whole place. The way it works here is they have this station right here. There's 12 different chocolates. I see, I think there's 13 different chocolates. You can try them all. Right here we have chocolate with rice, a little bar. Oh, delicious. Here we have natural. Mmm, holy So this one is with ginger. Chocolate with ginger. Japanese taste to it. <laughs> oh, here we have cardamom. What? It's like chocolate with like spices? Right here we have with chili. This one's gonna be amazing. It's a little hot. Oh, I love that one. Macadamia. Oh, this is gonna be amazing. And we have almond. Here we go. Oh my god. Orange, orange. Every single one is incredible. I know what I'm taking home. Here we have some almond hot chocolate. Mm. Dame más, dame más. Wow. I want many for my house. It's delicious. So I decided to go with two different chocolates and they, they come in those like big round bars that you saw. This is the chile and this is the almond one. It's 25 quetzales, which is $4 each. I think it's worth it. Straight from the source. My wife is gonna love this. I keep the chile, she gets the almonds. Hasta luego. chocolate. Yeah, we're going to taste different wines. I actually really enjoy fruit wines. Obviously, you like regular wines that are made from grapes, but fruit wines are very delicious and they're really strong sometimes, no? 25 different flavors. 25 different flavors? Yeah. We're here at El Vino del Abuelo and this place specializes in making fruit wine. Right now, we're gonna cut this pineapple. They're gonna boil it. They're gonna, you know, do the whole process. Then, they're gonna ferment it in these huge jarras. Jarras. Jarrones, jarritos, Jarrones, jarritos. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, I'm ready, I'm ready. I'm ready for Are you a ready? Drink? So the way this process works is basically we cut the pineapple, take off the skin, then we put it into this, she moves it over here, she cooks it, they take out all the juices, they mix it with sugar, and they put in these huge pitchers for one year, and then we got some pineapple wine. Oh! Oh, we did it! <laughs> so now what we're gonna do, in one year we're coming back for this guy. Woo! <laughs> so the way it works here is that the first line here, it's low alcohol, higher alcohol, most alcohol. First one I'm trying is a Jamaica, so it's like a flower. This actually tastes, not like grappa, but like a flavored grappa. It's very strong. So right now we're gonna try lychee, and this is the fruit of the town. Muy rico este, me encanta. Lo mismo. Denise, pero? Si. Salud. Woo. So this is part of the stronger wines. This is a fig wine. So fig is ego. Wow. Este es el strong. Vino de ego. Delicious, es but strong. I need some more. Okay, so I'm gonna try another really strong one. It's called Swapco, which is like a, it's like a grape, but more of like a, a grape that just grows out in the fields. Here we go. This is like grappa. Grappa, rakia, but like a flavored rakia. So this is a Jocote wine. Super sweet, super light. 
That one's like sessionable. This is from a grape from Brazil. Mm, very sweet, very sweet but strong. So this is actually seven different wines from here. They just mix it all together. And here we go. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! This is a reserve, the house reserve, okay? It's with guayaba. Oh la la, que elegancia. <laughs> oh wow. Tuna is a uh, fruit. fruit, yes. Okay, okay. The fruit. <laughs> a little bitter, a little sweet. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's good. Gracias. Oh man, great wines, great time. You guys have to come here. Los vinos del abuelo, incredible experience. I highly recommend coming out here and buying some wine. I got myself a bottle, so freaking good. And now we're gonna go see a lookout point that looks over the entire city of Antigua. That bus has Wi-Fi on board. Oh my God, we just crossed the entire city and we made it here to the lookout point, Mirador Cerro de la Cruz. This is just amazing. You can see everything. You can see the entire city of Antigua, the volcanoes. Holy smokes, I love this. Welcome to Antigua. This place is amazing. The view is beautiful too. This is the Cerro Santa Cruz and I'm Bronchi. <laughs> this this is one of the best views of Antigua. I mean, you have to come here. Definitely join my friends Antigua rides and book them through a la carte tours. This is a must do. I mean, you can't come to Antigua and not come to this spot. The view, wow, incredible. And I really understand why this place is UNESCO. So beautiful. Now we're headed to eat a delicious lunch at La Cueva de los Urquizú. This place is phenomenal. I've been here before. They have Mayan, traditional Mayan food. So freaking good. It's actually been featured by Andrew Zimmern on Bizarre Foods. You have to come here. Bueno, David, un gustazo conocerte. Mariel, muchas gracias, un gustazo. We're about to have lunch at La Cuevita de los Urquizú. This place is amazing. They have traditional Mayan cuisine. I came here six years ago and I had to bring Mariel de Viaje here because this is a must. The best food in Antigua is right here in these pots. This place is exactly how I remember it. They've been in business for over 20 years and what I got is un cerdo, a costilla de cerdo with like some yellow sauce. So it's basically pork ribs with this yellow sauce. I got some beans with sausage, uh, what else, egg. There's some ham in here, some onions, and I also got some rice. Ooh, it looks incredible. Uh, how do I even eat this, dude? Mmm, oh, the sauce is so rich. Delicious. Mmm, you can taste the pork fat. Get some of this rice. Mix it with the sauce. It's a little salty, not so sweet. Mmm. These ribs, I mean, it's like a lot of fat in here, you know? Very natural, they don't put too many things in here. It's a pork that basically just was killed today. Oh, delicious to the bone. I think the best thing to do is mix up the rice, the sauce. Mm. Oh, it's so rich and fat. <laughs> oh, these beans, man, these beans with the sausage. Really refreshing. Nice crunches. Mm. This is phenomenal. <laughs> that chicharron is insane. It's very delicate. It's crunchy. It's really fatty, obviously. Chicharron, pork skin. But mixed with the frijoles, like the frijoles batter in a way. Mind blowing. This is land, my friends. This is one of the best traditional fruits from Guatemala. Mm. It's a little bit too spicy, but it's amazing. Yeah, spicy? A little bit, yes, a little bit. No, no, no. Here we have some sausage. Mm. Smoky, juicy, has like a different spice, very delicate. Here we have a rack of lamb. Oh my god, the spice is on this thing. 
All right, I need more. Mm. This lamb is so crazy good. Oh, I'm in love with it. Oh, the sauce though. So we've had an amazing day here in Antigua. We went to a chocolate factory. Yes. Wine. Factory. Fruit wine. And the wine was very heavy, man. Yeah, it hit us hard. <laughs> Then we went up to the Mirador, so we saw an amazing view of Antigua. Then we finished the year with one of the best meals I've had on the trip so far. I have headache. You know? <laughs> that's, that's why we have some mosa, some uh, what, gallo, to like fix our headaches. Is it traditional beer? Yeah, yes. traditional, yeah it's traditional beer. Both this beers is traditional. Which is this? Mosa. Mosa. Yeah, this is a dark beer, that's more the light beer. So guys, if you love this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe to Maria Le Viaje and to my channel. And remember, if when you come to Guatemala, look up A La Carta Tours, check them out. We had an incredible time with Antigua rides. And obviously we're gonna thank our friends at IHG for the experience. Dale. Cheers. Cheers. Wow, está rico este. Está bueno, papi.